So, I'm back here. I, uh, may have, uh, taken a break for the night, and, uh, I might be feeling a little bit sick now. <laughs> At the very least, my throat is, uh, kind of hurts. So, I, I was, uh, definitely messing around with voices a little too much yesterday. Uh, not just within the game itself, but outside of it with my friends and doing other stuff. So, uh, I may or may not be coughing on occasion. Um, sorry about that if I do. I'm still going to be attempting to do the voices because I'll have like two days where I won't be playing this at all, so... Hey, what can I do? No one's here, right? <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very... Very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? She probably like hung a bunch of crabs up. Ahem. Hope speak a I don't care about a good Good morning. Now then, let's show. No, no enthusiasm. Sickness. Just sickness. Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Yeah, he got beat up bad. Involving himself in Pekka's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But... That worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should ever head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterward. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. So, we have four dead people. Yakia, Teru Teru, uh, Miharu, Miharu, and uh, Peko. Who's next to fall? Good morning, Sonia. Huh? Huh? Hajime. Get, get back. Who do you think I am? I am sorry. Oh, that was unintentional. It is okay. Please be your usual self. Yeah. Yeah. That was close. I was really going to kneel before her. Um. I'm terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't, could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta. She looks like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? I'm probably going to run through the entirety of this case, and then that will be probably it for like two or three days as far as my recording process goes. <laughs> I need to give my voice some time to rest, you know? Now, um, What? Hajime, you're already here? Yeah, Hiyoko. Hiyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Huh. I, I'm not acting anxious. I, I just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I, I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Well, there's no one here. I, I just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. It, it's just a coincidence. Oh, hmm. Man, this demon shrine. I, uh. What, what the heck is this? The panel has been propped up. It's giving off it's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Did or didn't Mahiru take these photos? But but what's with this terrifying ambience? Or ambience. Yay! Wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration. You did this, didn't you? Um uh, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> My hero is going to be happy too. Oh, 
she said, you're not going to accept her death. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hyoko, did you... Hello. Ah, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. But what are you looking at? Huh. What are these? These horrifying photos. I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? This is bad. Please, take a look at th those photos. Huh? Photos? Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, they didn't let us see the photos themselves. Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm, this is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it! I don't know who did, who the hell did this crap. But they've got a lot of nerve. <sighs> yeah, people are pissed. This is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Yeah, Yoko. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! Good mongrel. <laughs> What's with those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. I can't wait for Gundam to appear and just be like, eh, that's okay. <laughs> There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just... I know, right? It's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right, there's no way Mahiru will be happy with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be so angry that she'll cry tears of blood. <gasps> Man, who the hell did this? No! No, we'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... <laughs> fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana. That's just weird. Seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru is not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So, I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... You just can't think for yourself. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> and then she's crying. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? Yeah. It cannot uh, be. Um, was the person who made this... <laughs> Mahiru was really, really nice. She, po she politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> For once, you did one good thing. Even though you did it terribly, you did a good thing. I I did want to make it look better, but... But unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I, I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hiyoko. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. Well... H how should I put this? It it looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off this island, too. It would be a waste to leave behind... Such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible. Of course not. Not. We would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it. Fine. Then I'll forgive you all, except Mikan, of course. <laughs> so mean. But why? Why are you so strict with me? 
I see. Man, I it's see. so unexpected. Yeah. I really can't imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who, who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoko has a very kind heart. No, she doesn't. That's not it. Kind. Oh, come on. It's not like that. Jeez. Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop Seriously, it. stop it. Don't tease me. Aw, oh, Hyoko's so adorable when she's embarrassed. She's gonna now insult the fuck out of you. Shut the fuck up, you big face troll. There we go. Why only me? <laughs> Why only me? Yeah. At, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm? Really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason we can move forward, without feeling despair toward our situation. Yep. You guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Hmm. <laughs> I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! A malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst! Wow, this is a very hopeless object. It doesn't, it doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Stand aside. I shall shatter this barbaric blasphemous false idol to pieces. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Mm -hmm. Looks like this is gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. <laughs> but at least it was a peaceful scene. Followed by immediately stomping the thing to pieces. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. Even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. That would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Chapter 3. Trapped by the Ocean Scent Daily life. <laughs> Phew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um. Is he really alright? I was so. so concerned I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's parlance, I'm even more concerned. Uh, if, if I only could have tended to his wounds somehow, I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. No. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Now that I've had a belly full of food, I'm all set. So... I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. Avenge? She's not even dead! Jeez. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Hello. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? <coughs> oh, it's you, Monomi. Monomi, what do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Uh -huh. huh? Did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go the way. So go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um, ah, you finally asked me. Hey. Well, once again, I defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated another mono beast, that means... That's right, you are now able to visit yet another island. So, let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? 
Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, one of me, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um, you see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled. Sonia, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You're also part of that mysterious World Ender organization, aren't you? Hey. That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's got to be it. Hey. hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. Uh, what a dilemma, but that's the one thing I can't say. Bye -bye. Truly, this is the tragedy of middle management. She ran away again. It's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh well, who cares about Monami? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? Oh, we can, huh? She's right. Let's just find a way off this island before he comes back. Hmm. hmm. You are right. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonia. All right. And it's decided. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the Monobies and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. If that strange-looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us too. Hold on. Hey, don't. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. God damn it! Whenever he talks. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagato wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Anyone hanging out in front of the restaurant? No, apparently not. Okay. So, third island. Just given from the image that I saw during the, uh, I guess what you would call, uh, chapter screen, um, that looked like it's going to be very western styled uh, area. Which is odd, because basically you'd have to turn the island into a desert, which is really bad for the ecosystem, which sounds like a bad idea. Second island we've been to last time that was very just normal looking area other than uh, you know the fucking ruins that are clearly something. Wait. Hey Nekomaru. Hey you're not going to the new island Nekomaru? Oh. I'm worried Akane is going to do something reckless about those mono beasts. I'm going to guard the bridges for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Yeah got it. Nekomaru is quite good at taking care of people. I wonder if that's a habit of being a team manager. Monami was right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Is that the snake? Probably. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. The feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness I, or nervousness I felt. Across the bridge that led to the new island. So this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. The hell? This place is weird. This is like I don't want to use the word slum, but it feels like a really bad part of town. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Not just that, it's, there's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a bit dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. 
Okay, so there is this... There is the desert part here. There's a hospital here. Okay. So this is where the hospital is. This must be where Monokuma took Fuyuhiko. Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Hajime! Er, yeah. Holy shit! I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry, even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Ah, I noticed the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. Ah, that means I need to go check them, right? Uh, understood, I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Sure. <laughs> Miko frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. Guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? What's with the bulletin? There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who was this notice written for? I guess I won't read it. <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information. Now he's already telling me to forget it. Well, uh, may as well go explore the rest of the hospital. The patient room and consulting room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mekon. Let's see, no more stuff. And... I guess it's the exit? I just stand that I just stand. It's weird that I just stand in a different section. This is a weird part of town. Music venue! I couldn't tell that from the top part, actually. Just put it out there. Wouldn't say music venue. Parking? Oh, okay. Just outside of it. This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. I mean, it's pretty obvious what we're gonna find in here, right? Yep, there we go. Hey, Buki. What the? F Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I never, I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. Okay, yeah. Huh? Did I just say that twice? Huh? Ibuki, calm down. Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problemo. Not at all, I'm totally fine. No problemo. Ibuki. <laughs> Did I just say that twice again? <laughs> you don't look very okay. <laughs> Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. Well, she's fixed, luckily. It's like that smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't understand. Oh well. If you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. No. I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out another place. I bet you, Sonya. What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Nope. Disco. It is where young hipsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and la 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 labadas. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. Baton lighting control panel. This is the baton lighting's or lighting's control panel. 
apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Oh, I guess there's nothing else important here since I can leave. And I guess back to the street. Okay. So what else is there? Music venue, hospital, a motel, air conditioned. That's nice. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. I guess it depends on known for them. Wow, what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It says like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't send out at all, so I didn't notice you. Anyway, this place is seriously rundown. out. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing. Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get it, but there's a saying, praise a fool and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So. Akane was checking out the island. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Oh, well, I guess I should check the motel then. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect for in a crime movie. If it's just to say the night, the cottage is good enough. Oh, there's this car thing. Run down rusted and rotting car, someone abandoned. Heh, <laughs> maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Hmm, guess nothing else important here. What else is there on this island? Electric Avenue. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Well, Jackie's probably hanging around here somewhere. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alley. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It's def it definitely seems fishy. But wait, with this many machines, we can probably find something that we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Yep, two people I would definitely expect. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a dis disorderly manner, like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run-down, they all look like they can still be used. I know, if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought for that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. It looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it would be that easy, but just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X file. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document filed based on the for document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Creek Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus, and I hoped Sore High that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to the subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It's both purposeful and malicious. 
therefore it is subverse therefore there it is a subversive movement full of despair Homespeak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history as for the students who survived they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair it's no use the words are too garbled, garbled to read beyond this point but what is this boy tough crowd hmm how normal it's not normal like a dog barking it's a it's such a normal reaction that's actually quite novel Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my, what makes you think that? But because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? Riots in various parts of the world? And Hope Sweet Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And, and? What's Hope Speak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. What, what? Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who would who knows about it. Wait, what? Whoa. My brain is breaking a little bit. What what do you mean? I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about or while we're on the subject of stupid things, that file says something about students who survived. Is that is it referring to us? And the rest of that file is hey, hey, hey. hold on a sec, you guys. Just what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. You so, saying? you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. 